Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to discuss the second part of the lesson, Lost Spring. In the first part, we have discussed about Sahib e Alam and now we are going to discuss the second part that is about Mukesh who is from Firozabad. Let us go into this. Child labor in Firozabad. First of all, we have to know what is Firozabad and how children struggle in Firozabad. Mukesh is another boy who belongs to Firozabad. Every family in Firozabad believed are involved in bangle making. It is the center of India's glass blowing industry where families have spent generations working around furnaces, welding glass, making bangles for all the women in the land it seems. See nearly 20,000 children work in the dingy cells which are devoid of air and daylight. So, their 20 children, 20,000 children are working under these uh, uh, bad conditions. They don't know that it is illegal for children to work in the industries. Even they don't know. In such a way, child labor prevailed in Firozabad. All the children and including the adults work in bangle making only. Then what happened? Mukesh invites Anish Jain to his house. Here, Mukesh is also one among them. But... He is something different here. Why he is different? Let us see go, uh, in the lesson. Mukesh, looking straight into her eyes, says, I will learn to drive a car. This is something different statement. When he said these words, the writer felt that he is dreaming something different rather than to be a regular bangle maker. This is significant. Why this is significant? Because every other person in Firozabad involved in bangle making but this boy doesn't want to be the bangle maker, but he wanted to be his own master here. He wanted to be the motor mechanic. That is what he wants. After speaking a few words with her, Mukesh invites her. Here, her means Anis Jeng. Invites her to his house, which is being rebuilt. He said, ma'am, our house is being rebuilt, ma'am. Please come to our home like that. He invited her. They walk through stinking lanes choked with garbage. So the lanes which they, that they live, uh, Mukesh and uh, other families live, they are stinking. Stinking means here, coming bad smell with garbage. Past homes that remain hovels which crumbling with crumbling, crumbling walls. The hovels means huts. All the houses are not very uh, paka houses, just hovels means just huts. And crumbling walls, hobbly doors, crum crumbling walls means here not the perfect walls here shaking walls Woobly means unsteady doors no windows and nothing crowded with families of humans and animals coexisting in a primal state see the condition they lived with animals and at the same time human beings so it's like coexisting in a primal state primal state means here early stage like uh, uncivilized stage so he stops at the door of one such house, bangs a oobly iron door with his uh, foot and pushes it open. Yes, they reached the house of Mukesh and he opened it by kicking with his leg. Inside the house, there is a young girl who is the wife of Mukesh's elder brother. The young girl was uh, uh, cooking food, some spinach leaves sizzling on the stove and uh, uh, she had also cut some vegetables on the aluminum platter, preparing dinner for her family. Then, an impoverished man enters the half-built shack. Okay, that means very poor. Impoverished means looked very poor. This man entered. Who is this uh, impoverished man? He is none but the father of Mukesh. His life has been a failure. So, whose life has been a failure? Mukesh's father has been a failure because he could neither send his two sons to school nor construct a fine house for his family. So it is a failure. He could not do anything. What he could do was simply teach his children how to do bangles. That's it. His grandmother says that it is his fate and she even says that no one can escape the God's given lineage. So she says it is corrupt but it means fate. And she is also telling that so no one can escape the God's given lineage. Lineage means here yeah, being born in the caste of bangle makers, he must do bangles only. That is what she says. And then what happened? So, on seeing the such people, uh, 
our uh, Anis Jung had moved and she was moving around and she was observing the streets of uh, Firozhava there. What she had seen, bangles are seen everywhere in the streets of Firozhava. Children sit beside their parents and help in making bangles. Their eyes are more adjusted to darkness rather than light. That's why they often lose their eyesight before they become adults. That is what here, everywhere they could see only bangles, bangles, bangles. That's it. So children mostly support their parents, help their parents. That's why uh, they lose their eyesight because working at the furnace is, is very dangerous. They lose their eyesight before they become adults. And here she had seen one young girl named Savita. The writer sees a young girl named Savita who is mechanically soldering the red bangles which are worn on wedding day. Red bangles symbolize uh, wedding, okay, wedding ceremony. She was um, that soldering those bangles and you know, she wonders that she did not know the importance of the auspiciousness of those bangles, even though she did not know she is doing that work. The author was really surprised to see Savita, that young girl, making the bangles because she did not know the importance of those bangles and she did not know what is marriage and what is auspiciousness of that red bangles, but she is doing that. And just beside her, there is an old woman who wears bangles but no light in her eyes. That means she is still wearing bangles but there is no light in her eyes, means she lost her eyesight too. She says that they have not enjoyed a full meal in their lifetime and that is what uh, they reaped. Her husband says that he was able to construct a house for his family. Yes, this man with a long beard says, yes, I am able to construct a house. He is better than the other people. Yes, the ever-ending trap of middlemen. So, why these people's condition is in such poor uh, condition? Who made them like that? That is what the question here. Here, middlemen system. That is what we say brokers. Okay. The ever-ending trap of this middlemen making them feel like that are making them poor, poor and poorer. See, that's what. The cry of not having money to do anything except to carry on the business of making bangles. Not even enough to eat rings in everywhere. Everywhere, the cry of not having money that is echoed everywhere. Even the young uh, men echo the lament of their elders. Whatever their elders have experienced, the poverty, a lack of money, hunger and all, the same young men also echo the same. Why? Little has moved with time. That means nothing, little, a little. Little means something is there. A little means nothing. Sorry, little means nothing. A little means something. Here, little has moved with the time means nothing moved. Nothing changed with time. It seems in Firozhabad, years of mind-numbing toil have killed all initiative and the ability to dream. See what happened. Years of mind-numbing toil. Every time, what are they doing? Getting up, making the bangles and selling them to brokers and getting money. Again, doing the same work every day. So, their mind had become numb. Mind had become numb. Numb means here, so senseless. Here, unable. To, it is not working creatively. So they are not uh, doing anything creatively every time, doing the same work. That is why actually these people are trapped by the middlemen, and so they can't come out of the trap, but to carry on the burden of their forefathers and their fathers. These people are every time trapped by those middlemen. So even if they try to come out of that, so middlemen won't accept and they just uh, give some money to police and then police will arrest these people. Uh, they say that they are doing something legal. That's why they are arrested. Let us see this. If anyone dares to farm like a cooperative and sell their products by themselves, uh, the police will arrest and beat them by filing some false cases against them. So they never try to go beyond the middlemen and accept their fate. This is what the tricky thing done by middlemen. So why these middlemen do this? Because they are getting more profits. Middlemen get more profits. That is why even they, are, they don't hesitate to bribe. Uh, that means they don't hesitate to give money as bribe to the police. Then police people, some correct, correct two people are there. Okay, they just take that money and uh, they file some false cases against these uh, young men. And they will be hauled up to the police station and they will be beaten up.
that is how they cannot come out that is what the problem here next the two distinct walls yes on listening to the words of these people young men our anis jain she came to a conclusion she means here anis jain came to a conclusion that there are two distinct walls what are those two distinct walls one of the family caught in a web of poverty burdened by the stigma of caste in which they are born the one world is the poor world okay bangle makers world who are burdened by the stigma of caste in which they are born and they cannot come out that is one world the other is a vicious circle of the shahukars the middlemen the policemen the keepers of law the bureaucrats and the politicians this is another world see all these people here the second world people together they have imposed the baggage on the child that he cannot put them so all these people every time put the baggage on the children of this world first world poor world and the child cannot put it down if ever they try they will be put in jail before he is aware he accepts it as naturally as his father before he is aware means here before the person who is born in the family of that bangal makers he will agree yes this is our life like that he naturally as his father just like how his father has accepted uh, his uh, fate same like that son also accepts it to do anything else would mean to dare they don't dare to do anything and daring is not part of his growing up there won't be any kind of daring if they try to dare they will be put in a jail because of the middlemen because of this bureaucrats because of this shahukars okay that is what the problem here yes and mukesh a different thinker yes even though those many problems are there here mukesh is something different he is thinking in a different way the writer felt happy when she heard that mukesh wanted to be uh, the motor mechanic the writer asked him how will you learn that mechanism he said that he would walk to garage and learn and again the teacher uh, the writer asked it is so far i will walk ma'am that's what his determination the writer was impressed at his uh, determination and asked him if he was interested to drive a flight also the boy was silent because he was content to drive cars he had not seen he had never seen aeroplanes flying in his town only had seen only cars that is why he is content to drive cars thus children lose their spring spring that is childhood due to poverty let us join our hands to see the bright future of children and our country too so let us join our hands to eradicate this evil that is child labor and uh, we will fight against this thank you students uh, here ends the second lesson and if you like my video please subscribe thank you